that's nice that is nice right off the bat just giving it throttle it just threw me back in the seat and I don't even have it in sport mode yet this is this is gonna be fun I can already tell And overall, the ride is not nearly as rough as I would have expected with the kind of car this is. It's actually pretty nice and the seats are very, very comfortable, but they still kind of snug you at the same time in a good way. And the pedal feel for both the gas pedal and the brake pedal are really sporty, but still practical. I'm driving in this bumper to bumper traffic right now and it's still not cumbersome having to keep hitting the gas and then the brake over and over. exhaust I cannot wait to open it up I'm gonna put it in a sport mode now space to throw it back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, that's exhilarating right there. Oh, that is nice. And it's just, when that turbo kicks in, boy, I tell you, it's just throwing me back. And that exhaust note is spectacular. I'm gonna downshift and then just gas it one more time. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that is, that is great. That is great. Oh, this is this is a great car. It really is. And honestly, this does feel like BMW L Toyota to make this car. It is just as exhilarating, maybe even more so than the M340i that I drove last week. Just uh oh, it's just so great.
gonna take the sport mode off again. And it's not as hardcore in sport mode, but it's still so, so quick. This is not an eco mode, so don't get that confused here. This is still a beast without the added sport mode on here. And it's hard for me to love a car after driving it for 10 minutes, but just the overall driving experience is fantastic in this thing. There's the auto stop that just cut on. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is, oh, this is so much fun. Gosh. This is, this really is one heck of a machine. I'm not gonna lie. Just so much fun, but still, for me at least, it feels like one of the more practical sports cars I've driven. It's a two-door coupe, two-seater, but if I don't have extra people, this is really just as practical as a four-door sedan with all this power. I mean, you have really good trunk space in the back for this kind of car. I'm six foot three, and I'm still able to fit in here without feeling squished. And I actually have quite a bit of headroom as well. But I mean, I would give up a lot of that stuff just because the pure performance of this car, just for it to be a three liter turbo, it's just wild. And the great thing is when I'm not out, like over here thrashing it, it's just, it drives so well, so calm and collected. Just, I'm just, I'm blown away, I really am. But this is gonna bring me to an end of my review of the 2021 Toyota Supra 3.0 Premium.